Hey guys, it's Ivy here, and welcome back to another Let's Play franchise mode, Planet Zoo. And so last episode, we worked on our zebra habitat, and I was having trouble finding a male. Well, I finally found a male, but of course the only one I could find is albino, so we just went with that one. Um, so beggars can't really be choosers on that. But I also, off camera, I got another female warthog. So now there are two female warthogs in here. Um, you can see two babies. And uh, let's see. And then our peafowls have been breeding like no other. Okay, so all the albinos have grown up, it looks like. So let's go in here. Um, we're also completing a lot of our research, mechanical research and vet research. Oh, come on, get light. Okay. And then, um, so we're going to go in here and look at our peafowls. So no, actually the peafowls are still babies. They just looked really big. Okay, I guess in comparison they are still small. And our fennec foxes are about to grow up as well. We can get ready to trade those. Um, but this episode... Oh, more mechanic research done. But this episode I want to work on making some awnings and making this maybe a little bit more presentable. I know at one time I wanted to do that. Um, so let's go back in here and go to the fencing that I like. Okay, let's work on putting this down. Okay, and we are all done there. Let me move this over here. Like that. And then this one, move it. Perfect. And then I know I want to put something here. I'm not sure yet if I want to do like rocks or how I want to do that. That might actually be the best way of going about that. So let's go find some desert rocks. And I think they should make one thin enough that I can squeeze it in here. Okay, perfect. And it's always helpful to have the angle snap on at some times. Right, turn this one, and we're good. Okay, and then I think I'm just going to go in here and find my awning that I always do. Oh, wrong one. It's flat. Okay, so I normally use like the wooden planks. Let's get that up a little bit higher. And then we'll just do this and try and make them as flush as possible. Okay, and then let me do this all the way down. Okay, so now we've got a nice little covered area for our guests to view the fennec foxes. Let me just go in here and make sure. Okay, yeah, that looks good. And then I'm going to go in here and see if I can find any beams to use. That would look good here. And let me actually fix this up a little bit more as well. Just extend that over a bit. 
Okay, and then go in here, grab the beam, and move it back over to where it should be. Okay, and perfect. So we got that done. Looking good. Okay, let's see what's going on. We've got research, our vet research moving good as well. So let's go in here and see. I think the peafowls are still doing okay. Actually, no, I lied. Okay, so we need to go in here and find more species enrichment. So they don't really have anything. Let me see. In here, have a slow feeder. Mm, but nothing else. So let's just put down another slow feeder. And then let's go to our fennec foxes. I think we are okay with them. I think they are... Yes, they are good with their enrichment. Let me check on our warthogs. Make sure they are okay with enrichment. So they would like... Okay, finally we got their foraging box that we can use. Okay, so that should be alright. I still think they should be able to use that. And their hard shelter is not very... So we could probably work on that and really expand it back. So they have that. But let's just go check on our zebras real quick. Because I know they didn't have that many enrichment items to begin with. <gasps> we have a baby zebra. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Oh my goodness. That is so exciting. Oh, so cute. Okay, let's see. Let's make sure this baby is taken care of. So we've got this now. And let's get them a grab ball. And they should be good to go, I would think. Oh, and we can get them a little scratching tree. That right there. And, okay, so now they should be perfect. Got that. Our warthog. More vet research complete. So our zebras are almost all the way good now and then we need to go back and get the warthogs and okay so so far so good i'm not thinking we really need any type of cover over here i feel like the trees do a lot of the covering um i would though like to make a covered area over here I don't believe that they are getting stressed at all yet, or hopefully not at all. I don't want them to get stressed at all, but um, I, I think they're okay. I don't think that they'll get stressed out, but yes, I would like to do something over here. Mm. I don't have any African theme unlocked yet. Let me look. Okay, so just more vet research. Let me see what... Okay, so we're good on that now. Let's the warthog and go to mechanical. Um, let's pause on that. Let's just go to African theme and hopefully start getting some of that. So then we can make them a little shelter for over here. have a baby I really didn't want to buy an albino like I said but beggars can't be choosers there is a huge market for these male zebras for some reason and you can find females oh my god 
gosh, look how adorable you are. Good job, mama. Look at them. So we've got another girl and we do have a young male. Okay, awesome. So note to self, save the mail. <laughs> so guests think that the tickets are underpriced. So we will raise this up to, let's try 10 for each. Oh, nope, keep that open. Did not mean to click that. Okay, so then vet research, warthog better, and our aquatic theme. Okay, so then also in this episode, other than just kind of tying up some loose ends that we still have throughout the um, zoo, I was hoping I could make a mini meerkat habitat slash enclosure here. Um, so I, if you guys are new to my channel, I have the uh, PZ Plus mod and it allows me to not use as much space for the adults or just it, all the animals in um, in general. And so I can have <laughs> 10 meerkats on just 635 square feet. So I was wanting to get some of them and just build them a small little habitat like right here that they can look, that the guests can just look into, nothing too exciting, um, just something real small. Because yes, we are getting plenty of money in. So what I think I'm going to do since we're doing so well off now, let's get another vet. Let's make sure everybody else is good. Let's get another security guard. I'd just rather be good on that. Um, and I feel like we definitely need another caretaker. Let's get another caretaker. And so I believe we should be okay on that. So I guess without further talking, let's just go ahead and hop into this meerkat habitat.
Okay, and we're back. So here is our meerkat habitat. I just have the two for now, and I guess I did realize that it is a little high up. I thought it was going to be lower down, but it's a little high. Um, might have to figure that out. Try that. Okay, that seems to be a bit better at about eye level. Okay, and then clearly need some trash cans out this way as everybody is throwing their trash on the ground. Just throw a couple of trash cans around little bit of everywhere rather have too many than not enough and let's go ahead and grab a couple of penches to put over here we can put one or two up there just so people have enough room to sit if they want we can even throw some up there that looks pretty good um let's see what we've got mechanical research Looking good. Our vet research also complete. So let's get him on that and then can advance research that. Yes, high amounts of litter and then so request a mechanic. Okay. Underpriced tickets again. Okay, so let's go oh, not 120. Let's go up to 12 and 12 And that should be good and we are still sitting comfortably at about 66,000 Okay, so I was wondering why there were so many people here. It's because he's doing the talk I just love this habitat. Is there three babies in here? Four ba- Five? Five babies. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Um, was not expecting that many. There's six altogether. That is crazy. Okay, so also we have um, these guys. So these ones are getting kind of old. Um, I'm trying to think which one I want to keep. So we've got the female or the male. Let's keep the female. We'll throw them both into the trade center though so they don't age. Um, and do that. Uh, any other animals we can throw over there? Okay, so move our albino pea fowls. We'll send them to the trade center. And I think for now that is good. Let's go in here and see. I don't think the pea fowls are going for much. So we're just going to get what we get for them. And we will get rid of him, I think. No, actually, let's get rid of her. All right. And then wait for the other ones to grow up. Make sure that we have enough staff. We could probably train our staff up again since we have a bunch of money. Okay, so train staff. Okay, so they all should be... 
good. Perfect. And, okay, yeah, these are a little bit better at eyesight. Um, sort of, kind of. I might have to do some editing there. I really didn't think I was building it up that high, but clearly I was. But for now, we will just leave it. I still think it's pretty good, even if this is eye level. To look in and see the meerkats, and at least they are kind of out of sight up here to have some privacy. So we'll just leave it be for now. Check on our zebras, our little babies. I wish they weren't out in the rain. They have a shelter. Aww. Okay. I just wanted to check on their shelter if it was still good. Um, and then over here, I think they're still struggling with having enough shelter. So I'm going to go just real quick in here and edit this and let them have more space. Well, that might actually have solved majority of our issues. Okay, let's see what that does. Well, it went up to 40. Better than nothing. So for now, we will keep it. And we're not going to keep all the babies, so it should be better here soon. Okay, we're getting through the meerkat research, which is good. Still high amounts of litter. Let's, how many caretakers do we have? Let's just, since we still have enough money, let's just, did it take? No, okay, let's, there we go. Okay, get another one. All right. But I think that will do it for today. Uh, let's, oh my goodness, we still have so many pea fowls. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, getting distracted. But anyway, that will do it for today. My name is Ivy, and thank you guys for tuning in to this episode. If you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.